During the Second World War, it was well known that the Germans had a major advantage when it came to the research of bio and chemical weapons. Despite the fact that Hitler himself had issued an obscure order that there could be no offensive biological weapons research, the biologists of Nazi Germany still went ahead with their plans and were terrifyingly efficient at creating various bioweapons and weaponized diseases that could have made the war much, much harder for the West and potentially even destroyed it entirely. So why didn't Hitler do it? When Arik Schumann, head of the science section of the Wehrmacht, suggested Germany should prepare to use their bioweapons on a large scale to attack America, simultaneously with a plethora of human and animal epidemic pathogens as well as plant pests, he was sure the Führer would be won over by this plan. I mean, Germany's head scientists were offering America's head on a platter. With Nazi biologist research delving into the depths of weaponized anthrax, weaponized potato beetles, and a variety of other horror diseases aimed at wiping out entire ecosystems, they were ahead of every single country when it came to biowarfare, and Hitler could have ruthlessly finished off his enemies with little resistance during the Blitz, a time when his top scientists were advocating for its use to bring a swift end to the war. With all its use cases mounting up, Hitler firmly refused the use of any chemical weapon attacks on any country. Although he showed great enthusiasm for weapons of mass destruction and potential superweapons, Hitler had a quite out of place response for these bioweapons and some have come to theorize it was because he himself was temporarily blinded by mustard gas in the first world war and therefore had a shred of empathy for the countries he was at war with, thus deciding not to use the nefarious form of warfare on them. In addition to this, Hitler likely had an urge to stay honorable in the eye of the public, and when Germany signed the Geneva Protocol in 1925 that mandated against the use of any chemical weapons in the case of war, Hitler, wanting to ultimately be seen as a fair victor, could have wanted to stay true to Germany's word and not break the oath. The most plausible reason for Adolf Hitler's hesitancy to use any chemical agents during the war was likely the fear of a retaliatory attack. Although, as I stated before, the Nazis were way ahead of the Allies in that department, and American scientists after the war were frankly flabbergasted by what was found in raided Nazi labs, the fact of the matter is that the British were the masters of deception during the war, and it's likely that the Nazis didn't have enough of their own intelligence to go off that would indicate whether Britain and her allies had the means to strike back and take Nazi Germany with them to the grave. So, quite an out of place and odd story with a lot of possibilities, and as per usual, I want to know what you all think. What's the likeliest explanation for Hitler refusing the use of chemical weapons despite his scientists' best efforts to get him to use it? Let me know in the comments section below. And just before you go guys, please do check out the Patreon. We have a lot of big plans and we would be honored if you would join us on that journey. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something new.